Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, August 6th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is Heart Understanding Brings Me to My Balance. And today we are um, we're working through some interesting things. We've got some interesting astro. It's always interesting astro. It's definitely got a bit of a lesser intensity, um, but there's still some intense energy coming through. I think one of the biggest things that we need to work on through this energy and through the astro, and this came up big in the astro today, is the heart expansion energy. We are still Sun and Leo, even though, you know, we only have the Sun and Leo, the other planets have moved on to Virgo. We are working on our expansion. We're working into the Lion's Gate energy. And that's how I really see the Lion's Gate energy. The Lion's Gate to me every year is about tapping into your infinite capacity for love. And your capacity for love is infinite because love <laughs> is given to you via the universe. Um, it is inherent in your nature. And yet we tend to shut those doors, shut it down, protect ourselves as if there's only just little bits that can come out here and there. And so Lionsgate, as we're building into it, which is 8-8, eight, eight, um, asks us to open, to change, to keep the expansion going, to balance this existence on the planet. And those of us who are conscious, those of us who are conscious of our love state, our state of being that is love, and those of us who are conscious of all the havoc that the mind can bring really need to be working on this expansive energy. And I think today is going to help us with that. So we begin the day with Mercury squaring Saturn, nine degrees. So Mercury is in Virgo, very practical, detail-oriented thinking. And Saturn is generally very detail-oriented as well. But Saturn is still retrograde for like another week, one more week of this retrograde going into our beliefs. And so Saturn's not so focused on the details. Saturn instead is being inspired by this nine degree. It's inspired by the expansion energy of Sagittarius. And what came through on this is that this passion energy that, you know, is summoned within us, comes forward within us, often defies logic. And we try to wrap our heads around it. We try to get logical on it. We, you know, try to start thinking about the possibilities. And that passion still, like, exudes, comes up in and through us. And this is asking us, instead of trying to, like, rationalize the passion, wrestle it into being logical, just let this energy move through. Let the universe sort out the possibilities, the nothingness. The universe is something that allegedly came from nothing. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Who knows what all that is? We don't have to know. We don't have to start wrapping our thoughts about that. But nothingness, chaos, emptiness is the place, the birthplace of all possibility. So instead of trying to get your mind to like create these worlds, let these worlds be born and birthed through you. Um, we then have the moon shifting into Libra. Uh, it's at like 10 p or 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, so you may have like some quiet time. You know, meditation, getting into the passion, meditating your way into your body, or you know, dancing your way into your body may be one of the best ways to tune into these possibilities that are wanting to come through. Because as the moon shifts, it's usually a little bit of a void moon. I usually find myself exhausted during that time. So take it easy on yourself and notice what's wanting to come through and just bring it to your heart's understanding instead of the rational practice. We then have the moon in Libra. Moon in Libra brings us balance, harmony. It wants us to exist and exude beauty. Uh, moon in Libra is going to be connecting to Mars. <clears throat> and I love this because Venus and Mars are also connecting today. So first we have moon sextile Mars. Easier connection than the Venus-Mars connection that happens later. This is happening at one degree. One degree is the degree of the heart. So let the beauty that surrounds you expand your heart. Let the beauty that's around you fulfill your passion energy. Because if we get stuck in here, we're going to be, you know, kind of frustrated and like, ah, I'm stuck here. I don't know how to go. I can't unwind this. But if you get caught up in the beauty, whether it's the beauty of nature, the beauty of your relationships, the beauty of your friendships, the beauty of whatever, the beauty of music, whatever like is just beautiful to you, then you'll be able to move in this way, in a beautiful way, again, into your passions, into this changing expansion energy. Um, we then have Venus squaring Mars. And so that square <laughs> brings up some resistance. But you know, squares in, um, 
in composite charts. So if like you're looking at somebody's chart with somebody, sometimes you want a little square. Sometimes you need a little friction. And I think Venus squaring Mars, bringing a little bit of this friction is actually a good thing. This is happening um, right at two degrees. So we're here to nurture. Whatever the friction is, is asking you to nurture something. You may have to look at some of the details of the beauty. Like I'm, I'm working on a painting right now and I'm having to do some of these tiny details, these little Chinese figures. And so it may be some of that focus that's needing to come in or that focus may need to be utilized with Mars and Sagittarius. And Mars and Sagittarius is like, I don't have time. I don't have time to focus on my passion. But when you're taking aim with what you want, you want to take those couple seconds to align to let it go. And so that's where we can work together in this. You may find that resistance because you just want to go. Mars and Sagittarius is like, put on the gas, I'm getting there now. But Venus and Virgo is like, hold up, let's line. Now let it fly. So this is a beautiful combination, but you've got to work with this energy. And a message came through with all this energy, with this passion that's coming forward. And I get this all the time, and it's definitely an Abraham message, and it's basically you believe it. You believe in your passion. You just don't believe that it can be this easy. And so that's one of the times when you can ask the universe, how can this be easy? And then let the universe, again, fill in the details. You don't have to know. Your mind's going to want to know, but you don't have to know. The cards for this are so interesting. Like I said, the possibilities, the no thingness card. The universe has got this under control. Maybe like, but it's taking so long. It's taking so long to get to my dream. It's taking so long to receive that which I want to receive. And the universe is saying, it's because you're not open to the change. You're not letting go of it needing to be the way you think it's going to be. So let go of the way you think it's going to be. Let the change in so that you can get where you want to be. Because the possibilities are assured. The dream, the fulfillment is assured. But you have to let go of this process. And I've got some great animal cards. I'm actually going to start with Gecko. Sensuality. How about this card? It says, sacrifices of the ego return us to our most lovable state. And basically, it's just telling us um, geckos are a symbol of fearless and bold passion and sensuality, helping us awaken the fire within and prioritize pleasure. And that's the kind of thing that I was saying with Venus, getting out in beauty. Let pleasure stir the passions of your fire. That's just about being in nature, being in the world. And that will bring on the change. We've got butterfly again. Every stage of life holds significance in shaping who we are meant to become. So don't get stuck in the stagnance of your mind or your mind thinking that something stagnates. Instead, get into the pleasure, get into the beauty of the moment and let it expand you as we move into this heart expansion energy of the Lion's Gate, which is 8-8. So that is it for today. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.